hello everyone in this video we will see use of monitor for solving bounded buffer problem so let me give you a brief about this problem what is this problem in this problem we are having a buffer of particular size so in this example i have taken a buffer of let's say 5 and there are two type of processes one is producer one is consumer so producer is going to put some data in these buffer and con consumer is going to consume those data so like producer will put some data and consumer will consume those data now the constraint which we need to impose in this solution of bounded buffer problem is that producer cannot put new data if this buffer is full and at the same time consumer cannot access any data if this buffer is empty so for monitor monitor we know monitor is a module which contains shared data and some procedures so if a process wants to access those data or in case of this problem this buffer that process need to call procedure and in monitor we also have conditional variable which you can consider as a reason for which a process is waiting so if we consider bounded buffer problem so we know producer will wait when this buffer is full so this is the one reason which we can take as a conditional variable and the second one consumer will wait if the buffer is empty so this will be the second conditional variable so total two conditional variable we need to take in bounded buffer problem so if you are uh, writing a solution for any synchronization problem using monitor so uh, in order to understand that what type of condition variable you need to take so just think in that problem why process will wait for which reason you want process to wait and those reason you can take as a conditional variable so this is a very rough definition of producer and consumer operation what produ producer will do producer will add item to buffer and consumer will access item from buffer and we need to put these constraint like if buffer is full then producer should wait and if buffer is empty then consumer should wait so this is our complete moni monitor in this monitor this buffer will be considered as a shared data we are having two operations two procedure one for produce and the second for consuming producing and consuming so producer will use produce function and consumer will use consume function and we have already discussed that conditional variable will be two one conditional variable uh, when buffer is full producer has to wait so for that purpose we use this conditional variable and uh, if buffer is empty consumer has to wait so for that conditional variable we are using for that reason we are using this conditional variable empty and conditional variable implicitly are implemented as q and we can call three type of operations on these q wait signal and broadcast and this is the definition we are taking a array for our buffer and this count this count will tell us how many items are there in the buffer so we are not going to provide here the complete implementation part i'm just giving you an idea how it works so how this operation will work it will check if the number of item this is actually 5 this is not the 4, this is the 5. So the count is having how many items 
are there in the buffer. So producer will che check if count value is equal to 5. It means that buffer is already full. So in that case, that process will be put inside this queue. So we are calling full dot wait. So that process will be waiting inside the queue full. If this is not the case, then producer will put its data in the buffer. And after doing this, it will call empty dot signal. It means if any consumer process is waiting in this queue, producer will wake that process up and that process will consume that data. And the consume operation, how it works? If count equal to zero, it means buffer is empty. In that case, that process will enter in this queue. And if this is not the case, consumer simply take the data from buffer and it uh, actually this is not the empty, sorry for that. This is actually full. So, consumer at the end uh, wakes a process if there is any process in this queue. Now, let's see this solution with an example. So, initially, the number of items in buffer is zero. These two conditional variables Q are empty. So first consumer process call this operation consume. So let's see the definition of this operation. So this definition says that if the count value is zero, this is zero, it means this condition is true, then call empty dot wait. So it means this process now will be waiting inside this. Q. And whenever this wait operation is called, uh, this process uh, will release the lock for this monitor and will be put inside the queue and will start sleeping. Now this monitor is free for other process. Now process, producer process, this process will call produce operation. Now let's uh, see the definition for this one. So it's checking if count is equal to 5, not 4. So if the count is value 5, which is not true, so we will come here and it says that add a item to buffer and increase count value. So this producer will place one data in buffer and it will update the count value and then it will call empty dot signal so as soon as it will call this operation and what it will do it will wakes up this process c and and the producer uh, producer will pass that log for this monitor because currently this producer is in the monitor. So the monitor lock is associated with producer process. But when the signal operation is called, that lock implicitly called to the process C, which is actually we are denoting for consumer. And then this consumer process will start its execution. So a consumer process will start its execution. It will find that count value is not equal to zero, so it will consume this data and it will make this count variable zero. Thank you very much for watching.